Have you ever felt you don't know slash have forgotten who you really are? That you've spent years just adapting to surroundings to make life easier and don't know what's the real you anymore? If so, how did you overcome this? There's probably no real you that exists across time. That's just a thing you built up when you were younger to give yourself a stable identity and core values. The you now is just as real as the you then. We all adapt to our surroundings and change to make our lives easier. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you're unhappy with your life now, you can adapt by changing. You need to believe that, and you probably know it since it seems to be something you're afraid of. But this is the real you now, and you need to focus on the needs of that person, not some idealized phantom from the past. I always see it as outgrowing my former self. It's time to improve, find purpose, and move into the next chapter. This often happens once I finish a major step in life, like graduating college, getting my first job, buying and improving my house to my satisfaction, etc. Once I put life on potential autopilot to all the things I thought I needed, I need something else to be a mission journey. Edit, loving the responses. Can't respond to everything but if you need to reach out, send me a message not chat. Can't guarantee I can solve your problems but I can hopefully leave you with some motivation and positive outlook. Live alone. It forces you to decide what you like to eat, how you want to eat, how you spend your downtime. It forces you to define who you are. Sometimes that's a fast food eating couch potato but eventually that gets boring. Then is when you begin experimenting with other things. Cooking, going out, asking yourself, what do I want to do? When you learn who you are, you become confident. Might not be the answer or looking for. It seems that when I'm alone with my thoughts at night, I can't help but come back to who I am, no matter what facade I put on during the day. This keeps me from forgetting for weeks at a time let alone years, and I think it is actually a healthy habit so that I don't lose touch with myself. Start reading into existentialism. It will help you realize we are never really this person or that person, but rather in the words of Sartre, we are always in the process of becoming. This helps do away with the bad faith in finding myself, which so many of us feel we need to do when in reality we always are in that process. So feeling lost is a state that will always come and go throughout life, just as much as feeling found or grounded will come and go. Best advice I have is this, when we experience things, we make maps of what happened. We all have maps of our time in school, how people treat us, all of our experiences. We also make maps about other people, we make assumptions about others based on what we see or hear. We get maps from others about us too, especially friends and parents. What they tell us we are, what we think they see when they look at us, what we think they think about us, etc. 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 People tend to focus on maps, and label themselves, pigeonhole themselves into roles in what they think they should do, feel, or be based on the maps that they have. You are not a map. You are a 3D terrain of whatever beautiful biome you want to be. Don't stare at a map all day and forget to look up at what it really is. Edit, holy cow, tie for medals. New to Reddit, first I've gotten any also edit, fix the eeks, tie all for pointing that typo out. I immigrated to the states from Europe and got lost. Now my memories of my life in Germany are fading but I remember being so much happier with my job and hobbies and friends and only crying once or twice a year when something really sad happened well now I cry once a week. I am thinking about going back. I just tell myself, you know literally everyone else? Yeah duck them. Stop trying to please others and be who you are. I majored in film in college and it wasn't until my senior year that I realized I hated the work culture of the industry and didn't want to do it. Film had been my whole life since I was like 13 and I had kind of an existential crisis. I ended up finishing the degree I didn't want because I was so close. I ended up moving 1000 miles away after graduation, I have a job I love, 
which gives amazing benefits and they will even completely pay for me to go back to school if I want, so I might try that soon. I did realize it and it's just life changes you. As you get older experience new things get new stresses or responsibility you kind of lose who you are and become someone new. Certain aspects change but some things don't. The only part that is a bit I guess unsettling or empty is things that brought you so much joy you just find you don't care about anymore. It's harrowing yes but I just look forward to learning new things and seeing who I become. Example I took up fishing, I have crippling OCD and the mere concept of it was off-putting to me, but now I love it, took me over 30 years to try it and now it's just part of who I am now. I literally just started to notice progress in my life three weeks ago so time will tell if this is a true solution or a temporary one, but I just started to try to care about things. I kept going to church, volunteering, trying to find new hobbies, considering people to date, etc. Eventually I began to realize which kind of things and people I cared about. Within my friend group I started gradually lowering my filter and saying more of what I thought gauging reactions and then instead of changing my filter, I shifted who I would spend more time with. It really sounds trivial, and it is, but all you can really do is try to be yourself even if you don't know who that is. If you're like me and don't know, decide who you want to be and start working towards being that person. Also, give that ideal some wiggle room to change as you make progress. It sounds like it would benefit you to speak to someone more qualified than the Reddit hive mind. It can be very beneficial in breaking down where complex feelings like this stem from. Best of luck! By accepting that we are all a product of our environment, and that's okay. We don't have to be some special individual snowflake who has come to be by some autonomous force. Who we are is ever-changing and largely dependent on context on the people around us and the society we exist in. Alan Watts talks a little about this in the book, we seldom realize, for example, that our most private thoughts and emotions are not actually our own. For we think in terms of languages and images which we did not invent, but which were given to us by society. Our social environment has this power just because we do not exist apart from a society. Society is our extended mind and body. Yet the very society from which the individual is inseparable is using its whole irresistible force to persuade the individual that he is indeed separate. Society as we now know it is therefore playing a game with self-contradictory rules. I've actually felt like my younger self didn't know who I was. I was shy AF, still am at bars and in terms of dating, but never one to try and be outgoing with friends or start conversations or anything. Now I have danced in front of hundreds of people and announced on a microphone. I check dozens of people in at a hotel a day so I'm always talking to someone new and do my best to make everyone smile. Just start caring about making yourself laugh instead of making others think you're cool or whatever. Don't be afraid to let out your inner dread wolf, my friend. To be quite frank, I'm not sure I've ever known who I was. Something always seems to be missing from my programming, some part of the code is blank. I haven't found the correct formula, if you will, to patch it. I have spent my whole life simply adapting to everything that was thrown at me. I won't go into the gory and twisted part of my life, those details may be saved for a later date and a more on-topic question, but my life has never failed to throw gut-wrenching curveballs towards me. I cope with what I have been given floating around in a seemingly empty shell. As for the reality part, I have no idea what is real or not. This all feels so simulated. Life feels like nothing but a sandbox simulation to me. No matter how many nights I wake up screaming and gasping for air, no matter how much pain I feel, no matter how happy and in love I may be, it all feels like a sick and melancholic game. I am not real to myself anymore. My life is no longer real. I already struggle with numerous mental illnesses, so my lines between reality and fantasy are already blurred much more drastically than the average person's, thus making my time with it even more difficult. I haven't found an off button yet. I haven't found even the simplest of controls, 
the pause button is erased and everything, the volume, the frame rate, absolutely everything is up to the most unrealistic level. My life feels like a surreal sandbox game, and I can't get out of it. Chilling, really.